Greetings, managers. This is the warden speaking. The Shock Centipede is the fourth boss in Canto 4. Body weakness, pierce damage, yellow, sloth, blue, gloom. Head weakness, blunt damage, yellow, sloth, blue, gloom. The Shock Centipede starts out curled up and shielding itself. Avoid hitting the head when in this state. Instead, focus on the body. When hitting the head, you do no damage, as shown here. The numbers are just for show, no matter how much damage you deal. The two passives the Centipede has, living nerves. Upon death, all skills are canceled for the turn. Gain self-charge by the current amount. Undying persistence. Every 5 turns, gains a shield equal to a head's HP. What is self-charge? Self-charge is described as electric currents seem to flow around its body. However, its effect is, after the unit faces death, as long as it has self-charge, its HP is fixed at 1 until fully consumed. Treat this boss battle as an endurance match, as upon 1 HP, it will not die. This is where you'll need to hold out until the centipede runs out of charges. Generally, as with any boss fights, it is ideal to win all clashes and maximize damage. Save your egos until the centipede starts to charge up and hit harder. These attacks, such as high voltage electric discharge, is one such example. Focus on the body first if possible. When breaking the body, it simply changes all parts to a fatal weakness and will not outright destroy it. Or review. Open with hitting the body. Ignore the head when it is shielded. Destroying the body makes everything else a fatal weakness. Boss will not die at 1 HP. Endure until charges run out. Save egos for higher clash power attacks. And remember, practice makes perfect managers. Warden out.